You're obviously here because you want to know what it takes to build a car haul trailer where you can go snatch and grab cars for sale. You can go grab your buddy who's broke down. And uh, we will show you exactly how to build a trailer to do anything you want to do. Um, this is my fourth trailer. I'll tell you why I decided on this one. Also, we'll show you every step of the mods to get it to where not only is it secure and nobody can take it from you, but you can grab vehicles that run, vehicles that don't run, uh, and you can fix repairs on the road. So let's get into it. Our 2023 Big Tex 70CH trailer. Um, this one I like. You can see this is a 2023 model. It's brand new. Uh, it doesn't look brand new, but I was told it was sitting in storage awaiting to be brought to the dealer for six months. So uh, we got a little bit of a discount on it, on it. Plus, they threw in a free spare tire. Um, always love a spare tire uh, this is my second big Tex. I'm not thrilled about this coupler uh, being two and five sixteenths we had to purchase a special ball I'll show you that for the truck I don't mean a special ball I mean every trailer we've ever had has been two inch and this one for some reason is two and five sixteenths but you do have quite a bit of about six or eight inches of adjustment there to make it sit level it's got the defender breakaway box um, radial tires so what do I not like about big Tex trailers first of all why did I pick big Tex again well unfortunately I live near Savannah Georgia so it's about a six hour one-way trip to any of the major trailer manufacturers so that's an entire day. I mean, 12 hours of your life and you're gonna spend more money. Uh, this trailer came in just a tick under five grand. I chose to be able to modify the trailer a little bit myself, pay a little bit less money and not spend the whole day in the truck. So on to the features I do not like. I do not like the removable fender. You always have to have a 916 socket wrench handy. You have to reach up under here after you've ran over dead animals and pull this trailer fender off. And if you forget to pull the trailer fender off, you end up with that scuff, which my son did with the blazer after owning it for about five minutes. So, uh, not a fan of the removable fender. Uh, hate the ramps. Love they store and all that for shit, but hate the ramps. They're more for a tractor than a car. Um, love the dovetail love the LED lights hate where they put the license plate it hangs down just enough to get bent all to hell and ripped up as you come out of garage uh, garages and gas stations uh, I usually take all their gaudy yellow stickers off don't like those but I do love this big front wall uh, that will allow us uh, to run the winch right through that with a leader Oh, it's going to be really cool. We'll show you right where to put your tie downs for most effective tie down. Uh, this thing comes with stake pockets, but nowhere to tie your automobile down on this automobile trailer. I find that interesting. So, first step is to go order some parts. Okay, so we did a little shopping. Everything you see in this photo we purchased at Harbor Freight. We got the box for the tongue of the trailer. We got the 5,000 pound Badlands winch. We got four 10,000 pound tie down straps as well as four heavy duty D rings to bolt to the trailer. Um, the other items we got the axle straps are 24 inch. We got those off of Amazon. And we purchased the 
trailer key to light kit that's in the black bag there. That is a hitch lock, wheel locks, spare tire lock, and tongue lock for the trailer, all key to like. So you can lock everything up, whether the trailer's on or off the vehicle, and nobody can take it from you. It finished product out here all you got is some nice grade 8 hardware and inside you got a D-ring that'll fold flush and kind of stay out of your way but you can put it wherever you need it uh, we like to crisscross across the rear axles keep the rear end of the load from going right and left the front we pretty much tie straight so there's one side we'll duplicate that over there then we'll throw two in the front um, quick tip is these grade 8 hardware kits. So this is quarter inch 5 16 and 3 8 This is like a 566 piece kit. Dude, get these off of Amazon. This is like $30. There's no way you could buy all these bolts for $30. It comes with the lock washers, the nuts, uh, the flat washers, and they come in like four different, five different lengths. Let's grab those every time you see them save you a ton of money. All right, so we've got our winch plate. We're gonna go there. We'll have to cut holes in the back of this box and in the forward of the trailer for the fair lead to attach to guide the cable right there shouldn't be that big of a deal so you want to go get the silver paint thing the what the silver sharpie get those two holes marked so then we know where to cut the center out we'll go based off of this right here cut that out then we will mock up our piece of uh mock up our piece of aluminum across the bottom to pick up these two bolts should be strong enough. Are you recording? Nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How hard that was. I know you should have done it. Freaking teenager. <laughs> if you only knew how to tighten the drill I bit. I tightened it literally on camera. I know. Everybody's wrong but you. You're 18. Damn. Okay, so the angle iron is across under the box, hooked into the frame at all four mounting points. We got our rough hole cut here. I'm gonna file the edges and we'll hit it with some paint. Then we'll mount our fair lead up on the outside and we should be ready for the wiring portion. Apparently, my help went in. That's fine. So, we got the hole cut. We went ahead and put some primer and some black paint on there. Winch is mounted nice and solid. The wiring harness looks scary, but it's super easy. You can see everything is color-coded. Blue, black, yellow, red, blue, yellow. I'll route these so they can't get caught up in the cable. We'll mount this right here on the side. Uh, I'm not storing a battery in here. I'll always have an external battery, so I'll keep these long. Uh, it does come with a remote that you can Drill a hole and mount on the side, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want any more holes in my box at the moment. And then, of course, you got the 10-foot control cable that just plugs in. So from here on out, it's simple wiring. We already powered it up and pulled it nice and taut, so we're ready to rock. 
got a hell of a mess to clean up but looks pretty clean pretty sanitary looks professional i like it if you like it let us know you like it if you don't like it i don't want to hear it haha <laughs> just kidding you got any better ideas let me know i'm down to make this better and more functional so everything's mounted got our positive cable got our negative cable these come outside the box and hook up to the battery all the other wiring is hard mounted never moves we got our extension pop this off the end and we plug in this doohickey and then you can see winch is ready to rock disconnect drop these back inside here and nobody's the wiser take our battery put it back in our tow vehicle so oh this looks like a big mess but this is all basic hand tools and you don't have to get as extravagant as we did you could simply weld the winch plate right there and buy the bag to cover it uh, i just wanted everything nice and hidden because we travel a lot and i don't want all this foliage rusting out on my stuff so i wanted it hidden in a box and what else oh we're gonna bust out the welder and weld these two eighth inch steel erector set pieces at both ends of the frame there i don't think we'll have any issues it's pretty solid now i guess we'll put it to the test tomorrow when we go grab another vehicle Well, this trailer setup worked almost flawless. We had a tiny little hiccup with the winch. Um, you really got to keep tension on that winch the whole time. You even slack it up for a second and you're not watching it. You can mess up your cable. We had a little tangle. We got it out. Um, but, God, the bugs are so bad. But anyway, uh, winch setup worked flawless. We pulled that heavy square body 4x4 up out of the weeds and out of the mud. Uh, went right up on the trailer with no issues. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, I'll probably make a few improvements along the way, but for right now, I really love this setup. Um, you can see the car. The car is here. The one we got yesterday is there. I will be doing a video shortly of the full recovery of both of these square bodies we got locally. Uh, there's some very interesting options on these trucks. You ought to check them out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope gave you some ideas. Build your own snatch and grab trailer. And uh, we'll see you on our next car adventure. Thank you for watching.